is saying, whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed to? What is he saying? He's saying that who is it that really gets the purpose why Jesus came to do what he did? Who really gave it? Yeah, I know that he died. And on the third day, he rose with all power in his hand. We, we learned that from Sunday school as little children. But what is the real, the real meaning of what he did? See, that's, that, that's the thing that it says. Whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? When you talk about the arm of the Lord, that's talking about his power. Every time you see arm being revealed... It's talking about his power being released. He said he grew up before him like a tender shoot and like a root out of a dry ground. See, I want to stop right there. How many of you have grew up in a family when it seems like you were the black sheet of the family? When it seemed like everybody else got treated better than you got treated? When it seemed like your sister had the long, pretty short, the long hair, and you had the short nappy hair. Mm -hmm. Come on here. When it seemed like your brother had the best of clothes. Even though y'all in the same family. He got the best of stuff. And you got the hand me down from your sister. What about even when you got in with a group of people. They liked everybody else but you. Mm -hmm. When it looked like you're looked upon as the least of the family. That's what it's talking about with Jesus. This is what he said. He grew up before him like a tender shoot and like a root out of a dry ground. You got to think about it. The ground was dry. You got to think about it. When Mary got ready to have him, she had to have him in a barn. They didn't have no place to put him. Amen. You had the people, they, they looking for the Messiah because they looking for somebody who was going to be beautiful. Somebody who was going to come with power. And cherries and horses. So when this this, this this little young this 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 carpenter who was poor didn't have that much, and this little young girl, surely the Messiah ain't coming in that package. <laughs> you mean God don't call you into the ministry? God don't call you to preach? Everybody in your family drug dealers. Everybody in your family drunkards. Mm -hmm. I know He ain't call you to preach. Come on, because you don't flip, you you don't fit the strip of what man say. Yes, yes. Come on, I'm trying to paint a picture for you because our Savior came into the world and man didn't recognize him. Amen. Come on, every time they went somewhere so she can have a baby, they didn't have no room for them. How many times you get ready to sit in the seat? Oh, this seat belongs to somebody else. All right. Come on here. It's like every time you want to try to do something, you got to work harder than everybody else. Mm -hmm. Because somebody always trying to cut you out. They trying to always reject you. And you say, what it is about me? Because I come trying to love on you. The person who you try to love them, the people who hate your guts the most. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. I do everything I can for you. I give you my last. But you turn your back on me. When I need help, I can't find you. Yes, amen. This is that same Jesus we talking about because I want to show you he went to do the same thing that we go through. And I want to let you know that it's not because he don't love you. He do love you that he's allowing us to feel the same thing he felt. Because people saying what? You say now. You look the same. Come on. You ain't staying in no five bedroom house. You still single? You still got that old beat up car? You staying in that apartment? People try to count you out for what you got and understand it. That has nothing to do with who he called you to be. Because I'm telling you, when you study and read, you'll know that Joseph and uh, uh, Mary, you'll know that they went all this and that. It talked about Jesus was not nice, necessary on the appearance to look at. How many times people told you, you all right? Oh, but she pretty though. But you all right. Come on. 
I was looking for somebody who was who was better shaped than you. you so you look too heavy for me. Or you look too small for me. See, man got all these little things that they try to put us in, but I 